astrology and other divinatory arts are not a replacement or substitute for physical or psychiatric health care. If this is an emergency situation or you are in crisis, please do not defer your wellness to readings or horoscopes. Seek situation-appropriate, qualified assistance instead. Hi there, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting October 31st, 2022. And just a quick reminder, if you are watching your rising sign forecast, remember your rising sign is giving you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And your moon sign is showing you about the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the week. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This week, your big spiritual theme or the big focus is the King of Cups reversed. And there may be a point this week where you have to step into things that you have left in the hands of others with whom it is no good. Because the King of Cups reverse is indicating that a lot of your week, if you're not careful, may be getting dominated by a lot of biased decisions and emotional insecurities and problems that other people are not keeping out of your business. And if you share space, you share investments, you share projects, you share anything, it may be going through a bit of a cross-contamination risk if you allow that to simply be. The King of Cups reversed always asks us to see what situations are basically serving the insecurities or serving the uh, unhealthy you know, tendencies of other people, whether it's happening on the job or it's happening with family and so on. And where do we need to step in and say no? We can't have this thing orbit your issues. We have to do something else. We've got to focus kind of like what we talked about in the solar eclipse video. What serves the wellness, not what serves the illness, whatever is going on here. And you may have to have this conversation with a few people several times this week. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you do have the 10 of pentacles reversed. And there's a bit of a heads up coming this week about a transition that's not happening right now, but it may happen as we go into December or even the beginning of next year. Usually with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, we get a big heads up. And this could be maybe news of something changing on the job or something changing about the company you work for, something changing in a home or family matter. This can be great news for those of you who've been looking to maybe lock in a transfer, make a move, even a physical relocation for those of you house hunters. However, it is, you know, again, putting it out a bit further in the future. Financially, this week actually is going to go very, very well for you. The Ten of Pentacles reversed indicates kind of a big boom, but it is a temporary boom. Think of this week as a week of many bonuses, a way to scrounge up a bunch of money really, really fast. That's normally not there. I would not count on this being the new normal. However, it is something that you can score with this week. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you do have the Knight of Wands upright, and it looks like somebody is stepping forward to help, well, bring put you out there. The Knight of Wands is all about promoting you, all about speeding up growth, speeding up development with something that you've got going on that they can help you do better with. Whether this is maybe you going out and making new friends, maybe this is you looking to find some help finding love, maybe this is somebody stepping forward and helping you propagate your good name when it comes to your business, maybe this is somebody helping you to speed up the conclusion of a long-term project that we've been going a little slower with than we maybe needed to. Whatever is happening this week, pay attention to the help that's coming from the Knight of Wands upright because there is a speedy turnaround towards a big victory in it for you. When it comes to your challenge this week, you do have the Three of Swords upright. And I'm seeing this week, you may be the one inflicting the Three of Swords experience, not necessarily experiencing it yourself. And that is because it's the challenge. The message I'm getting here is you got to be ready to break some hearts. You got to be ready to disappoint some people. You might have to make some calls this week that leave other people feeling betrayed. Even if it's in the highest interest of all concerned, sometimes people don't realize that right, right away. Sometimes people never realize that because they're more about what they're feeling than what's going on in the bigger picture. 
And with the Three of Swords, you may have to make those tough calls. You may have to make that tough call while you're receiving this big score with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. You may have to make that tough call so you have room for the Knight of Wands upright. You have to make that tough call to call out the King of Cups reversed and whatever bullshit his, he's bringing to the table. Might not be a he, but you know what I mean. And so you got to be okay with being that kind of brutally honest. And sometimes with the Three of Swords upright, it is us who is doing the work of maybe saying things that are hurtful or bringing about things that do hurt, but sometimes change hurts. It's a fact of life. When it comes to relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you do have the Ten of Swords reversed. And this week, there could be some very cool, very sweet news that catches you off guard in love. Because the Ten of Swords reversed is indicating here um, that there is a second chance for a relationship. And with the for those of you who are currently single or available to new people, sometimes the Ten of Swords reverse can show up where something that didn't really have a good start, didn't really have a fair chance, or maybe you never even got off the ground, gets another try. And so this could be something recent. This could be something going way back in, in time. But with the Ten of Swords reversed, it's bringing that chance back from the dead. This is also a time for those of you who are single or, um, you know, are maybe seeing somebody recently to start a relationship over again on a path that would be better suited to both of you. For those of you who are currently coupled, or are married, the Ten of Swords reverse is indicating that you will each be receiving good news about something that you guys miss as a couple, miss about an element of the relationship, the marriage, or the family that you wish you could bring back to life in, in the present day, something that you wish you could do again, start over again, something that we maybe got rid of once upon a time. It's a brilliant retrieval. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.